on yours, Claude. You're checking me out again. They're mostly healthy food reviews. If you are new around here, I got a question for you. However, if you've been around here, you know the question. In either case, here it is. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? <laughs> I'm around today, guys. Here's the thing. First of all, happy Monday. Secondly, I'm actually going to be in Danbury, Connecticut this week, doing a couple of videos at a few spots that I honestly never go to and decided I want to basically check out. I don't remember the last time I've actually been to this location. We're going to go into the mall real quick, Danbury Fair Mall. I haven't been here in like 30 years, maybe. I know I'm showing my age, right? I don't even remember the last time I've been to this place. We're going to go in there today and find out if they actually do carry their plant-based hot dogs. That's right, plant-based hot dogs. I'm going to slide over to Nathan's right now. They've been around since 1916, but I wanted to find out today if they're actually bringing the flavor with their plant-based hot dogs. I'm going to try to get a Chicago-style dog. In either case, very real review time. They have no idea who I am. Mostly healthy food reviews. Let's get up in the mall. Let's get started. gentlemen that was nathan's plant-based hot dog here's the thing if you guys didn't see what just happened i took two bites out of a damn hot dog and it tasted like i was biting into cardboard how do you bite into a hard hot dog it didn't even have a bite back because of the skin the whole hot dog was just hard the only thing that was good about this hot dog truthfully oh, were the condiments the pickles the mustard and the relish Side note, 
When the girl went to serve me the hot dog, she literally handed me a plain hot dog. However, I asked them to put the ingredients on it to make it a Chicago, which is basically onions, relish, mustard, uh, you get celery sometimes, tomato. Did y'all see tomato on this hot dog anywhere? Not me, not for my six or seven dollars for this hot dog in the mall, Dan Barry Fair Mall. I needed to get that taste out of my mouth just now. So that whole Nirvana water I just got finished swigging out, I wish I actually had mouthwash to get this nasty behind flavor out of my mouth. Are you for real, Nathans? Are you for real? Watch the review I give. All I'm gonna say is this trip was about 20 miles away from my home in Bridgeport, Connecticut, and I wanted to come up to Danbury Mall because I haven't been here in a very, very long time. And I wanted to basically find out if the mall had something good to offer me today. I'm disappointed. Let's give them a review, shall we? Wait for it. I'm going with a one on my hot dog from Nathan's. I'm going with a straight one. Why? Wasn't the price, wasn't the service. Both of those were totally lackluster, even for a mall. $7 for a hot dog, even though my receipt said 21, because truthfully, I tried to order their Impossible Burger right around one o'clock in the afternoon, and they were sold out already. Their Impossible Burger may have been better. Who knows? But yeah, I never got one. Instead, they served me boo-boo the fool and figured I wasn't gonna sit there and speak on it. I'm speaking on it today. I had to actually spit my water out just now to try to get this nasty behind taste out of my mouth. Nathans, y'all need to be ashamed of yourselves. Truthfully, I'm not having it. People need to know, this is horrible. This is god awful. If this is what plant based should taste like, no. I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like the video, do me a favor, click subscribe for the realness. <sighs> Turn notifications on. Yep, that little bell right there. That way you get the videos when I drop them. Mondays, Fridays, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. My new time, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard. During the week, as time permits, usually Wednesday or Thursday. And once again, this is Claude, Mostly Healthy Food Reviews. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Newsbreak. I'm on all social media platforms. If there's a health bonus to my food, it's an added bonus. Nathan, you guys have been around since 1916. And I remember back in the day as a kid getting you guys french fries and hamburgers and stuff. And I don't remember much about them. But honestly, if this is what it's turned into all this time... Y'all can keep that. I'm good. I'm done. I'm done talking. I'm out of here. Basura. Y'all be cool on the other side of the pillow. Let me take off. I'll talk to you next time.